Your installation instructions for wood or metal posts. Install tensioning terminal. If a wood post, insert the post protector tube first into the face of both end posts. Force each tube into post so it's flush with post face. Slide the stainless steel washer onto the threaded stud, smaller for metal post, larger for wood, and start the brass lock nut onto the threads as far as possible by hand. Feed the cable through the end post, pulling the threaded stud into place. Feed cable through intermediate posts. Pass bare end of cable through intermediate posts and through other end post, which includes post protector tube if wood post. Install swedgeless terminal. Push the bare cable through the other end post and mark the cable at the point where it enters the end post. Slip the appropriate washer over the body of the pull lock fitting, Delrin plastic for metal post, stainless steel for wood post. Rotate the pull lock fitting clockwise as you push it onto the cable. If the cable begins to unravel, you're rotating the fitting in the wrong direction. Push the pull lock fitting along the cable and firmly into the hole in your post. Pull on the cable, cable gripping pliers are helpful for this, to create as much tension as possible as you seat the pull lock fitting into the hole. Cut the cable flush with the hole in the back of the fitting using a cutoff wheel. Press the cap onto the lip of the pull lock fitting. Tension cables. Return to the threaded stud end post. Insert an eighth inch hex wrench into broached opening on the tip of the stud. Tighten the lock nut with a 7 16 inch wrench while holding the hex wrench to prevent the stud from turning. Tension all cables to desired amount in sequence, beginning with the center cables, moving up and down toward the top and bottom. At both ends of the run, you're going to create a sharp bend in the cable where it exits the post, post protector tube in the wood post, by placing a block of wood for protection of the post on the cable next to the post tube at the face of each post and striking it with a hammer. If tension has diminished slightly as a result of the bending of the cable, retension the threaded stud back up to desired amount. When all of the cables are tight, cut off any exposed thread as near to the lock nut as possible by using a cutoff wheel or hacksaw. If you have purchased the optional nut cap, press the cap over the lock nut. 